simple enough okay simple enough okay now uh, just a few more just a few more pointers just a few more pointers over here okay uh, other than this uh, emphasis that you do it for a very short span of the document there are features to uh, make emphasis uh, these options like uh, these emphasis like uh, uh, text uh, style options like be uh, text bolding italicized change of font and everything uh, for a, a large span of the document and that is possible by the com by these commands over here now let me just uh, explain this clearly text as i uh, mean this font okay this will enable the entire document to have a slant sh slant shape for instance if i run this check this out and the entire document has the same font but it's slanted okay now this way suppose if i were to uh, you know change it over here for a, okay now watch after this uh, now this part will have uh, italic italic shape so if i were to zoom out and run this if you see up to this part up to the red sentence the color sentence in red it's slanted whereas everything else afterwards it's been italic so this way you have the power to control and manipulate the the font characteristic of the document till the particular end uh, till the particular end like that is possible similarly uh, you have options to I mean this is the equivalent command uh, sl shapes equivalent command is text cell which we saw just now and similarly you have a you have a the option called as up shape which does the same okay we just it just brings the shape to the normal ca ca category up shape means uh, upright shape okay it brings the sizes to the normal category nothing much uh, so if i run this see everywhere else is the size is normalized shape is normalized okay uh, that's about up shape and then uh, text it gives the italic shape we just we just saw right now sorry not this part okay it shape we just italicized everything in the entire document unless otherwise mentioned somewhere else okay and uh, if you want the entire document to be capitalized use sc shape and you have there you have it the entire document is capitalized okay that's one thing second let's say if you want the document to be uh, uh, capitalized for a short range use text sc we just we, we just saw just now and if you want the entire document to have a normal shape okay use this command uh, backslash md series meaning medium medium size series okay by default it is medium so whether you put it or not doesn't matter everything will be normal okay so this is the default si default size of the font and if you want to have a font which with only for a small size with medium font this is possible text md is the command that you have to use and that we have to see this is over here when you change the formatting and everything uh, run this part you will see the difference but nothing will. just trust me it will be fine you'll it'll work work on it okay and then if you want the entire text to have entire thing to have a bold font there you have it use this command text bf now that way the entire document will have a bold font okay now similarly you can change the font family as well now we just saw how to change the shape change the shape of the font shape shape of the font we just saw how to capitalize or bold bold size the font and change the size of it now let's say change the font itself now you have by default latex has the roman uh, reg, roman font rm family as the default font so by uh, so the, you don't you won't find much difference over here okay the command to make the any roman font possible is text rm you can just try it out and you have the you have an option to change the font to sans sans serif and that is run, done by this command sf sf backslash sf family and if you see you can you don't have to zoom in but you can clearly see that the font has entirely changed okay and the command for that uh, for a short span is actually text sf okay and similarly uh, tt family is used for uh, giving the typewriter font you see you can see the difference if i were to zoom in as well you can see that this the entire content is written as if in a typewriter format that's possible okay the short the command for the shorthand uh, for a short span is again is text tt which, which we just saw just now 
and similarly there are other shorthand uh, notations as well to do the entire uh, the other thing above okay rm stands for roman fa roman family okay it stands for italic which does the same italics option as we saw above em stands for emphasis which is nothing which is kind of similar to italic option bf does the bold font option sl does the slant option sc does the small caps option okay sf does the sans serif format option and then tt does the typewriter format option so these are like shorthand formulas with this alternate formulas for alt alternate commands just we with for all the things that are done on the top well almost all of it so if you were to run this where the document is back in the normal shape and now finally you have an option to do uh, the change the shape of the fonts to a particular size to a particular size okay now all this time we didn't change the shape of the font i mean so we didn't say the size of the font we saw how we shot we change the shape shape a bit uh change the font uh slightly we just increase the font size slightly nothing much nothing much but uh, there is option to change the font uh, size and that is given by uh that is given given by like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten options okay you have ten different varieties of sizes are available in latex okay tiny is the smallest size font size uh, script size is actually a slightly smaller uh, font note size is much sm uh, slightly sm is smaller but bigger than script size tie small is actually the smaller size normal size is actually the regular size of the font okay and then you have a large with a small l that is a small a slightly bigger than your normal size large with a capital l is even bigger large in all caps is much bigger huge is much bigger than large and huge with a capital h is the biggest of all so as a comparison comparison you can see the si you can see how the words go by so the size uh, for to zoom in properly okay that is zoom in properly the size has the smallest size whereas tiny has a smaller size uh, script size has the has slightly bigger footnote size is slightly bigger when compared to the above and the small size is even bigger and the font is this size is actually the normal one if you can compare okay and then everything else is slightly bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger so this is the uh, ascend uh, ascending or uh, the increase this is how the size uh, size commands vary and this is written in the ascending order of ascending order of sizes or increasing order of sizes okay and this again these are actually uh, spanning commands uh, i mean uh, it's like a declaration kind of commands okay uh, meaning if you write this anything else that you write afterwards all of them will have the same font same font size unless otherwise you write another uh, size changer like this and modify and modify it unless otherwise, otherwise the size will remain the same throughout the document okay that is all i have for you guys in uh, 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 text text styles okay now in the next doc next in the next tutorial series sorry in the next tutorial we'll see how to do some options regarding spacing uh, spacing in the document and uh, possibly other other uh, possible other options So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time